Great. Well, thanks uh, to all of you for joining. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon here in the DC area. Uh, as you know, the email that I sent last night, I referred to it yesterday. It's also uh, a federal holiday that we're observing. And so I just wanted to make a few comments about that before I turn it over to Howard and Judy to take us into our next uh, session and the rest of the afternoon. Carol, can you advance to the next slide? Thank you. So I think around 10, 15 last night, I sent you some information on the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act. We were all participating in the workshop and didn't get a chance to watch the signing, but we included a link for those of you that were interested, if you haven't seen it already, um, and some also, also some additional resources that we thought would be of interest to you. So Joe and Ella actually put this slide together, including the, the quote from President Biden. And towards the end, he says, in short, this day doesn't just celebrate the past, it calls for action today. Um, and I think myself and all of us are keeping that in mind as we think about these the new frontiers in the forefront of genomics. We recognize there's so many gaps in diversity and workforce diversity, diversity of data. There's issues of structural racism. We've heard some of those comments the, uh, throughout the workshop yesterday, and we're glad that we all are um, thinking carefully about health equity. And we hope some of that is woven into the conversations today. So thank you to all of you for, for joining. We, we recognize some of our colleagues that are federal employees won't be here today. And that's, um, that's perfectly fine. I'm glad they've decided to observe the holiday today and we'll make all these resources available to them. So thank you, I'll pass it over to Howard and Judy. I'm looking forward to day two. Great. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining the second day of the NHGRI workshop on multiomics uh, in health and disease. And uh, once again, I'm Howard Chang from Stanford University, and together with me is Dr. Judy Cho. Hi, uh, Judy Cho from Mount Sinai in New York. Uh, so our uh, overall goal today is that we're going to explore some, uh, yesterday we heard about the technologies and some of the applications of um, uh, multi-omic technologies already uh, in healthcare setting. And today we're going to hear more about specific uh, study designs and observational studies. We're going to have uh, a, a, a panel discussion about kind of the, 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 the uh, opportunities and challenges. Uh, and uh, the, the afternoon we'll focus on future clinical implementations uh, and specifically we're linked to possible therapeutic interventions and really more the direction of moving this technology towards the clinic. Uh, at the end, we're going to have a, a, a sort of a panel, really a, a discussion with, with all of you, really all of you are going to be the stars, uh, because at the end, we really hope to come up with some ideas for recommendations to NHGRI. It is also our hope that the discussion will create a summary of the state of the field uh, that we can and also potential future uh, calls to action that will be uh, available to uh, possibly be published. Uh, in a leading academic journal. So that is the goal for, for our uh, workshop. Um, and with that, uh, I'm gonna move on to, uh, to remind you of some uh, Zoom etiquette, some housekeeping items. Um, so first of all, since we're all in a virtual environment, uh, please uh, indicate uh, your uh, name and affiliation on your Zoom profiles. And secondly, uh, that uh, uh, during the presentations, your video and audios will be turned off by default uh, to reduce noise, uh, but we want your active participation. And so please do turn on your video and, and speak uh, uh, when, when you ask questions and, or participate in the Q&A. You may also post uh, your questions in the chat and then uh, the moderators will also, <coughs> excuse me, the moderators uh, will, will read them off at the end for the Q&A sessions. The moderators will also, will also be keeping time uh, during the, uh, the presentations and will give a verbal one minute reminder uh, towards the end of each presentation. Uh, and uh, a final uh, item is that uh, we are not uh, sort of uh, uh, promoting this uh, workshop in social media. And so uh, uh, please uh, do not do so. Okay, uh, and with that, um, I'd be, uh, I'm uh, happy to turn over the screen to our uh, next moderator, Dr. Joanella Morales.